Sup fools, that's uh, that's a way to start a video. Uh, so I saw like a week ago, I, I saw this dude who claimed to have made magic, well solitaire, like solitaire in magic. And uh, I'm calling his BS cause that was not solitaire in magic. This, what I have created is solitaire magic. Obviously, as you can tell with every single card in this, um, you are not going to naturally be buying these cards, except like Treasure Cruise and Thought Monitor and uh, Thoughtcast, Texting Pro, well, grip, yeah, mostly these, mostly the artifacts. You're not going to be buying these because obviously they're on the reserve list. It costs a lot of money. Um, even like Mox Opal, $66. Like Lotus Petals, $20 a pop. Like you're probably not going to be buying a lot of these, uh, mostly because they're on the reserve list. But if you proxy them out, this is how you play Solitaire and Magic. Okay, this is how you actually do it. And you're probably like, how the hell do you play Solitaire Magic? This little button was the play tester. Okay, and basically, no matter what, you look at the hand and go, keep this. And now, basically, uh, sorry, they changed a lot since last time. But they have a play tester and architect. So, as you go, let, let's say that... Let's say that white is my storm count and blue is my mana. Um, cause you don't, you don't care about color in this, but let's play mock sapphire. Goes up one. Another mock sapphire. Your storm counter goes up by one. It's a storm deck. So yeah. Tag team probe. Obviously it's, it's free. It's, it's technically two life, but you don't care about life at this point. So then you look at this and go. Well, technically you don't have the actual mana for it, so let's Ancestral Recall, add three to your, to your hand. Obviously there's, you just played two cards because Ancestral Recall and Gitaxian Probe. Play a Black Lotus. Oh look, that's another one. It's a Storm deck, you're playing with Grape Shot. Um, another Gitaxian Probe to draw a card. Gain one. So you have three cards in your graveyard. Uh, if three artifacts out and this costs two which would mean you probably want to um, probably sacrifice this for three mana to then pay two of it to mana morphos means that goes up by one that goes up by two and you draw a card clay mox opal so then you have three mana and then two out here. So then you could do something like, I don't know, pay two of it to draw two more cards. Then you got a Mox Ruby, meaning you could pay one of it for a Thought Cast, means it goes up by one. Did I get the thing for Mox Ruby? I don't think so. But then you draw two more cards. See, like this is how this is how you do it. Throw a force of will in there, just in case if you're ever playing against an actual person, they're like, oh well, I, I want to counter spell. So yeah. Uh so you can take all of these and move to exile, all of them, and then spend one mana to play treasure cruise. Meaning you draw three cards. Ooh, we got a Solarian Academy. That's a surprise tool that helps later. So let's tap two, play Mana Morphos, meaning we get two more mana. Let's spend one of it to play an Ancestral Recall, meaning we get another and three cards. Play a Black Lotus. See, it's it's free. The game's just free. It's fun, simple. This is how to play actual solitaire, and you can play this as an actual against an actual person. Obviously, you'd have to uh, was proxy out all the cards, but. Pfft, whatever nope nobody cares so you have five artifacts out so let's uh pay one to what is it uh to play another thought cast and then that goes up by one draw two and then there's the namesake card of the deck grape shot so you have to get this up to 19 so in order to do that you have to do something like you have six out, which means you can tap this for six. Um, because Talarian Academy 
it allows you to add blue to your mana pool for each artifact you control. Then we're gonna uh, subtract two from that. We're just gonna add two right there. Actually, we'll do another one. Play all three thought monitors. Draw one, two, three, four, five, six. Another mock sapphire. Another lotus petal. You can sacrifice one of these lotus petals. Another ancestral recall. Which means it goes up by one. You go one, two, three. And you can technically go on as long as you want, but then whenever you're ready, you just, I don't know, crack a black lotus and crack a lotus petal. You play both grape shots, because that'll be up by two. Uh, well, technically up by one and up by two. And you've dealt 41 damage to the opponent. Which is awesome. Fun, fun, fun. And all that from, like, you're literally playing Solitaire. I mean, you have 25 cards left in your library. You've played, like, almost all of them. But you just keep going. You can go as long as you can. But that's that, how you play Solitaire and Magic. What the other dude was doing was basically gold fishing, which is, uh, uh, which basically you're playing against another, well, like, person. It's you. You're playing against yourself. But that's not, no, that that's not how you, how you play. No, if you want to play true Solitaire, this is how you play Solitaire. Let's even go back to the, uh, let's go back to the deck list. I mean, it's Solitaire. Everything's either free or or basically free, or gives you more mana to give you free stuff. Also, Force of Wills, if you want, if you're actually playing against more like people people, then I I would replace something, uh, I don't know, replace a few of the cards with like a Force of Negation or something. But by playing this deck, you could show up to somebody right now and say, hey, I'm, I wanna test out a new deck. Do you mind, mind if we play? They go, okay. Doesn't matter who goes first, doesn't matter who goes second, you, you'll you either win or lose. Immediately, they might even concede if they if you immediately say Storm Counters at one. So, if you guys liked this way of playing Solitaire, uh, make sure to like, like and subscribe. Yeah, and also, while you're down there, because I mostly do Commander content, but if you like this not Commander content, feel free to just let me know in the comments. Or, if you want me to do more commander content, uh, comment your favorite commander below, and I might go ahead and make that commander deck. I got more for you coming out soon, so keep up with that, but I think I'll let y'all go now.